I was always hesitant to start a podcast because, well, I've got a busy life, and the last thing I want to do was add one more chore on my to-do list. I thought about paying others to do it for me, but just didn't feel like it was worth it. My mind changed when I heard about Spotify for podcasters and how simple and easy it was to record, edit, schedule, and distribute my podcast everywhere I wanted it to be. Seriously, the process takes you less than five minutes, and that's including putting together polls and questions to engage with your listeners, plus adding ads and subscriptions. That way you can make a little money on the side or turn it into your main source of income. And best of all, they do all this for free. So instead of putting money in other people's pockets, choose the platform that does the work for you and helps put money in yours. Get started at www.spotify.com slash podcasters or download the Spotify for Podcasters app today. Hey guys, Kill Stokes here. Welcome back to the Trading Coach Podcast. Come to you on your favorite podcasting app five days a week, at least for now. In today's episode, we're going to talk about ways to improve your trading without necessarily improving your win percentage. And win percentage is something that a lot of us put a massive value on when we first get into trading. But once you understand kind of what type of trade you are, once you understand what type of signal your strategy produces, you'll start to notice that your win percentage is what it is. And as you spend more time in the markets, yes, maybe you win a little bit more. Your VAS, uh, VAS, your RAS, sorry, particular activating system gets better at picking out better trading opportunities and ignoring worse trading opportunities. But at the end of the day, that's only going to increase your win percentage by just a little bit. So today I want to share with you a discussion from our live trading room where we spoke about what to do to improve your performance after you've kind of maxed out your win percentage. Check it out. Our stop loss is put at a location where what? Who can answer that question? Where where is our stop loss put at? Our stop loss is put at a location where the market tells us we're wrong, right? We're getting involved right here. We know we're wrong right here. Price has broken and closed below a previous level of structure. And this is why technical analysis is so important. You know how to understand this stuff, not just for like trade reasons, but for just general analysis. We just broken and closed above a level or below a level that told us that We are right. Now, we may not be right in the the full projection, right? We may not be right in that price rolls all the way down to 2480s for profits or 25 even for profits, but at least we're right in our initial directional move that price is moving short. So the next question is, do we need our stop loss to remain this high to know that we're wrong? Now, if the answer is yes, you leave it there. If the answer is no, and it's where trade management comes in, and trade management is so key in, in what I like to call the the next level of trading. Um, You get to a point in your trading where you don't necessarily become better at picking more winners. So your win, your win percentage doesn't really change you. You, what changes is you get a little bit better in managing your, your, your losses, whether it's active trade management or whether it's just getting better in placing stop losses and you get better in, in, in your precision with target profits. So picking the right location. Sometimes that means being able to shoot for more. Sometimes that means being able to shoot for less, but getting a little bit more accurate. There's different ways, but it's those outside levels of fact uh, of trading that start to impact your trading the most as you gain more experience because your, your signals and your setups don't really change too much. So this would be an example of, Hey, price has told me that I'm right. in My directional prediction, I don't necessarily need to be this high for me to be wrong. So this is where you start reducing it to break even or right above whatever your stop loss method is, but you're reducing risk on the back end. That way, if you lose, maybe a loss is just a scratch trade, a break even trade. Maybe a loss is a win where you can technically lose, but still win, which I guess would be a win, but you get what I'm saying. Or if you do take a loss, you take a lesser loss than what you would have. And and that's how you continue to grow your account. When you can keep your losses small or or minimize your losses, that way your wins make up for them plus more and your losses don't uh, begin to take less away from your wins. Um, So that is the the next level of trading. If you're new, don't worry about that stuff yet. You're just worried about kind of the the basics, but I'm, I'm telling you from personal experience, once you get to the point where you know yourself as a trader, you know your signals, you know what you're looking for, you, you hate to say it, but you've accepted that you, you've accepted the fact that like, hey, I'm going to win this percentage of the time. Like I've accepted the fact that I'm a 45 to 55 percent trader. Right. 
that is what I am. I'm not going to be a 70 percent trader. The numbers just don't show that for me. So I, I and I have no kind of if it happens, it'd be great. But I have no expectation of that. So I can't control that. Right. Control what you can control. I can't control that aspect of it. Right. What I can control and, and when I say I can't control it, it can shift a little bit. Don't get me wrong as you get better. But you're not going to make drastic shifts. Right. You are what you are. But what you can get better at is the other stuff. That's what you can get better at. So hopefully that all made sense. I know there weren't any charts or anything like that, but hopefully the core concepts went across. And hey, if you want to join us in the live room and be a part of these conversations with charts and spend time with some other active traders, you can do so as part of your 14-day risk-free trial membership. Just head over to www.tier1trading.com. Sign up for the trial membership. It's 14 days on the platform. You can download some software. You can join us for some live sessions. You can take some training courses all for 14 days and it's risk-free so no sneaky auto bill or auto enrollment anything like that after 14 days you're simply kicked off the platform so www.tier1trading.com i look forward to you guys being there